Did you know that tens of millions of years ago, dinosaurs drank the same water you drink today? Fresh water is a limited resource that is necessary for all life on Earth. Plants and animals need to take in nutrients dissolved in water to survive. The molecular structure of water is two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom, represented as H2O. Each water droplet contains billions and billions of water molecules. The water cycle describes the way water moves through the Earth's crust, atmosphere and oceans. The sun's heat causes liquid water to evaporate from lakes, rivers and the ocean as a gas, water vapour. As water vapour rises, it cools and condenses back into liquid water droplets that form clouds. These droplets collide, getting bigger and bigger, and the water eventually falls to the ground as liquid rain or solid snow or hail. Water collects underground as aquifers. It fills the spaces between grains in rock layers, sand and gravel. Groundwater slowly builds up until it intersects the land surface and flows out to become lakes, rivers and oceans, providing a source of water even after the rain has stopped. Groundwater can also be absorbed by the roots of plants. Water travels up through the plant to its leaves where it evaporates and turns into water vapour in a process known as transpiration. Water also plays an important part in the physical and chemical weathering or breaking down of rocks. It also transports and deposits weathered rock, helping to cement the sediments to form sedimentary rock. In volcanic eruptions, water is unlocked from the crystal structure of rocks and re-enters the atmosphere as steam. And so the water cycle begins again. Water contains trace amounts of chemicals that are like a fingerprint, giving clues to its origin and history. By looking at the differences in elements like oxygen, geologists can work out how old water is, how long it's been in this form on Earth, and where it came from. All this information helps us to manage this incredibly precious resource that has been cycled and recycled through the Earth and its atmosphere for billions of years.